Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. You know, there are many website builders out there to choose from, and in this video, we'll check out GoDaddy's super easy cutting edge website builder. The first step is to click the special GoDaddy link I provided in the video's description. It'll let them know that I've sent you. Create a GoDaddy user account and sign in before you start building your new site. Don't worry, creating a user account at GoDaddy doesn't even require a credit card and you're not committed to keeping anything. They just want to make sure that whatever you're building is staying nice and secure. You get a full 30 days to try out your new website and if you're not totally thrilled, just cancel. It's completely free, no strings attached. One of the things I really like about GoDaddy is that if you have any website related questions, you can reach a real person who will help you and answer your questions 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. They have great customer support. After you create your account and sign in with GoDaddy, at the top of your screen, go to Websites and Marketing. On this page, click the Start for Free button. Just a heads up, we're starting our site fresh, but if you already started a website, the button will read Edit Your Website or Keep Working On. First, enter the type of business or industry you're in. Don't rack your brain here. This is just a way for the website builder to suggest a template for your site. If you don't find your exact industry, no worries. Just find something close. As soon as you start typing in this field, it automatically begins suggesting options that are close to, or maybe even exactly what you're looking for. And, as soon as you select an option, a template will display in the preview window on the left side of the screen. Next, enter the name of the site or your business name. Again, this isn't set in stone. You can always change it. We're just using it to pre-populate the template and get you off to a fast start. Notice as we type in the name, the preview on the left updates in real time. When you're finished, click Continue. This is the My Site screen where all the actions take place. You'll see the menus for Theme, Pages and Sections, and Settings. Depending on the industry you selected during setup, you might see additional options in this panel. For example, I went with Graphic Design, which is a service industry, so the Appointments option is displayed. Whatever industry you choose, the options that display below settings offer additional website functionality that might be useful for your business. If you're not sure you need this functionality, or maybe you're just not ready for it yet, they're totally optional and you can always implement them whenever it works for you. Let's check out Theme. The Theme panel is where you set the vibe for your site. If you like the theme, click Done, which applies it to your site. However, if you're not sure or just want to sample some more, click Try a New Look. You'll see dozens of carefully crafted, beautifully designed templates that you could choose from. I think I'll try this one. The theme panels are also where you can make changes to the colors and fonts used on your site. As you make changes on the right side, the preview on the left updates in real time. When you've got the combo you like, just click Done. Up next on My Site is Pages and Sections. Use this panel to select a page on your site and then edit the content on the page by accessing its sections. Right now, the page menu only has one, our home page, and that's really all you need to get started. As you add pages to your site, they'll be added to this menu. Under the Page menu is an area called On This Page. Each of the sections represents a section on the page. Let's say you want to change the image on your home page, which is called the header. Click on it and open the Cover Media Flyout menu. You can choose an image or place in a video. For now, let's click Video. Immediately, a video is shown in our cover. To replace the video, click Replace. A window appears filled with videos related to your industry. I'll click this one and click Insert. Immediately, that video appears in my cover. If you prefer to use an image instead of a video, click Image. If you want to replace the image, click Replace. There are four ways to add an image. 
My uploads are images from the ones you've already uploaded to your site. Since I added this logo earlier, we're seeing it here in the My Uploads window. You can add images by clicking Upload. My Sites uses photos from another website's and marketing site you've created. Social Media uses photos posted on your Facebook account. Stock Media allows you to select royalty-free photos. I'll click this one and click Insert. Immediately, our cover photo updated itself with the photo we just picked. If you decide to rather use the one you had before or want to use another one, click Replace, the category that your new image is stored in, click the image, and Insert. Then click Done. I'll show you how to add your logo if you have one. Click Logo and Use Image as my logo. In this example, I already store this logo on my GoDaddy site. So, to show you how to add your logo, I'll click Replace. Click Upload, then find your logo and click it. Click Open and Insert. If you want to go back and use text as your logo, click Use Text as my logo and immediately your website updated itself with your text as your logo. Then click Done. Anytime you want to get back to the My Site panel, just click the House icon. Remember, you can edit any of the sections. For example, I'll click About Us. Let's say we want to rearrange the section groups. Just drag the equal sign below or above another group. If you want to edit the text of the group title, you can either click on the title in the left pane and type out your new text and click Done or click the group on the right pane and type out your text here. If you decide you don't need the group, just click the Delete Group button at the bottom. I'll rearrange the group again. Editing accent colors is a snap. Last up is Settings. While this panel contains some of the general site-wide stuff, like your site profile or domain settings, it's also where you implement more advanced website features like search engine optimization, connecting social media accounts, or hooking up to your Google Analytics account. Once you finish creating your site and want to preview it or publish it, at the top you'll see two buttons, Preview and Publish. If you click on the Preview button, it's going to take you into your mobile view and your desktop view. Keep in mind, once you publish your site, you can always go back and make changes if you want. You can actually publish it to the free URL that GoDaddy provides so you can test it out, see what it looks like on different devices or on different browsers. You can send it to other people to view it too. Go ahead and click on Publish. And that's it. Your site's up there, it's live, go ahead and share it. Make sure you come back and maintain it, make updates as you go, but give people the link so they can check it out. If you want to upgrade to a custom domain, click Select a Plan that fits your budget and needs. I hope this quick overview has shown you how easy and intuitive it is to build a great looking website with GoDaddy. After you've published it, let me know. I'd love to see it. Remember, GoDaddy has real customer phone support 24-7, so if you have any questions, just give them a ring. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.